Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you my wash day. In this clip, I'm basically showing you how I carried my hair for the whole week. It was in this style and I would spritz it regularly um, every day with water and some oils and some conditioner. So now after taking down my protective style, I'm going to divide my hair into four pieces. I always work with my hair in four sections. Not pieces, sections, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> So um, I'm going to split my hair into four sections like I said and I'm going to start working with each section slowly and guys it's very important while you're splitting your hair to be as gentle as possible. Early in my hair journey I was told to treat my hair like silk and it's a principle I've imbibed by and my hair has loved me for it. I've noticed less breakage, less shedding and um, my hair has like, basically loved me for it. Um, if you think that your hair is nicer than the clothes you wear uh, and you know how gentle we are with dry cleaning and following instructions, that's basically what you should be doing with your hair as well. Now I'm going to be spritzing my hair with a little bit of water um, and conditioner mix. I showed you my mix in my previous video. If I haven't, please remind me and I'll let you know what I do with my um, leave-in spritz. So now I am basically massaging the water in to be sure that every strand gets saturated and I'm filling up with my oil mix. Um, this is my pre-poo basically. It's with coconut oil, castor oil and olive oil. And I'm first putting that on my scalp, um, making sure that I get to each and every section because my scalp has also been dry and it also needs some TLC. Castor oil is bactericidal, um, it stimulates hair growth. Olive oil is moisturizing or nourishing as they say and so is coconut oil. Now that I'm done massaging my scalp, I'm going to go and do the same thing with my hair. So I'm putting some of the oil mix on my hair as well, starting from the ends because they are the most brittle part of your hair. So you want to be sure that you're giving them enough TLC. And as you can see, I'm going up on the strand. I'm basically just making sure that I massage as much as possible, squeezing it every now and then to be sure that it's reaching every strand. And I'm following up now with my white tooth comb, starting again from the ends and working my way up. Now, usually the water and the oil act to lubricate my hair, um, and this gives me less breakage. As you can see, I have very minimal breakage. Never, ever comb your hair dry, guys that's a golden rule. You have to put some lubricant, maybe a moisturizer, some oil, some water, anything that makes the hair a little bit moist and allows the strands to be able to glide along the comb. Now I'm going to repeat the same process in front. Again, I'm spritz spritzing some water on my hair and I'm massaging it, making sure that it gets to the roots um, and the edges everywhere just to make sure that my hair has water, some lubricant on it, some oil, some um, conditioner. I have a little bit of conditioner that mixes as well. And again, I'm putting in the oils on my scalp to make sure that every inch of my scalp gets the oils on there. And then I'm going to follow up with massaging. Um, and it's in circular motions, guys. And if you notice, I'm holding my hair in a way that I don't have all of them tangling up while I, mas I massage my hair or my scalp. This just ensures that I don't get as much tangles and again I will get less breakage. Now again I'm pulling up with the oil mix that I have and I am basically putting it into my hair, separating the sections to be sure that every strand gets covered, at least as much strands as possible get covered with the oils. And once I'm done, I'm going to put it up in a twist as well. Um, so again, I'm detangling here and combing it out um, to make sure that the oils also get distributed evenly. And I'm also kind of detangling my hair. Since my hair got healthy, I have less tangles. A few years ago, I couldn't do this. <laughs> but I'm much better now and I'm showing you how much hair I lost on that half of my head. So that's all the hair loss, guys. So now I'm going to put it in a twist. And when I'm done putting it in a twist, I'm going to do the rest of camera. And I'll be back to show you basically how I put my hair in a shower cap. And um, so this is pretty much done. And you're going to see my next clip here where I'm putting it in a shower cap. And I'm going to sit under my tight hitting cap. 
on right away to washing the first thing I do is I wash the other half of my hair off camera and I decided to show you how I washed my hair the last minute so what I'm doing is rinsing my hair as much as possible to rinse out all the oils now people say why are you gonna wash put oils in your hair before you wash it off is for the simple reason that washing your hair putting oils in your hair um, prevents high growth fatigue so when you wash your hair when the hair strand when the hair shaft swells um, it doesn't get as much breakage now if you see I'm doing the same thing I do with my oils so I put the hair the, the shampoo on my scalp and I hold my hair down and I put my hands in circular motions to massage the shampoo into my scalp and when I'm done I twist it up and then I go and rinse the other side and I come back and rinse this side of my hair like I said I wash the other side off camera so this is pretty much my pre poo and shampoo routine and I'm going to go ahead here and use a t-shirt I'm squeezing out the water from the hair, the excess water and I'm going to use a t-shirt on my hair and that's it guys, uh, stay tuned for the next video